Patient involvement in medicines, research and development provides value for all stakeholders, including patients, researchers, industry, regulatory bodies, payers and policymakers. How do we know this? What is the evidence? Research funded by the European Commission highlighted the potential benefits of patient involvement, such as more relevant research priorities from the outset, research methods and results more relevant for patients, therapies and health interventions that are better tailored to patients' needs. Also, patient involvement results in more meaningful outcome measures and may help to improve recruitment and retention in clinical trials. In the rare disease setting, inclusion of patients' groups as equal partners has been reported to contribute to the success of research applications and the research conducted. This has resulted in the fact that research funding agencies increasingly require the involvement of patients' organizations. Also, the newly revised International Ethical Guidelines for Health-Related Research involving human subjects have addressed this issue. Different stakeholders agree on the importance of patient involvement, yet it is still not the norm. Why? Patient involvement often lacks structure and the when, where, why and how across all stages of medicines, R&D, remains a subject of debate. Often there is an inconsistency in approach and it happens too late. The lack of formal documentation of patient involvement activities complicates the sharing of experience and learnings, preventing timely and systematic implementation. The Yopati roadmap originates from the needs of highlighting the specific opportunities for patient involvement throughout the different stages of the medicine's R&D life cycle. Who was involved in the development of the roadmap? This roadmap is the result of a collaborative work including patient organizations, academia, non-governmental organizations and industry. This roadmap highlights the four key stages of the medicine's R&D life cycle and provides a tool to facilitate patient involvement along the way. The four key stages are Research priority setting Research design and planning Research conduct and operations Dissemination, communication and post-approval activity Stage 1 Research priority setting Patient involvement has a vital role in the very early stages of medicine's development to ensure that research priorities meet patient needs. Involving patients will help ensure that development of novel therapies or interventions is focused on patient care areas defined by patients themselves. The involvement of patients in the face of research priority setting can be about gap analysis, early horizon scanning, matching unmet patient needs with expected research outcomes, defining patient-relevant added value and patient-relevant outcomes. Stage 2. Research design and planning. Involving patients in the design and planning of research contributes to patient-friendly design. At this stage, patient involvement can happen in the following areas. Protocol synopsis. Patient involvement can help define the target population and generate real-life data by including patients with characteristics that represent the target population better. It can also help define the most adequate protocol design. Regarding the protocol design, patient involvement can help to identify relevant endpoints, identify acceptable risk versus potential benefit from the patient's perspective, Identify appropriate exclusion and inclusion criteria. Define diagnosis procedures. Select relevant patient-centered outcomes such as quality of life or other patient-reported outcome measures. Identify potential issues such as ethical dilemmas or data protection to provide adequate assurance that patient concerns are addressed early in the trial design. Draw attention to operational factors like frequency of visits or the availability of remote monitoring that can impact the ability of patients to take part in trials. 
There are other areas in which patient involvement is beneficial in the design and planning phase of research, such as fundraising for research. Patient involvement can also help secure research funding and put topics on the research agenda that would otherwise not be considered. Informed consent and patient information. Having patient advice for trial communications can ensure clarity of material in terms of content, visual appearance, design, readability and language. Materials may include patient information leaflets and consent forms, especially materials used in initial approaches for potential trial participants. Ethical review. Ethics committees in several countries routinely request evidence that end users have been involved in the development of the research and in the development of material intended for patients. Practical considerations. Patient involvement can help identify practical considerations that reflect the diversity of the patient population and their differing situations, such as the need for travel expenses, support for family members, or other obligations that need to be addressed. Stage 3. Research conduct and operations. At this stage, patient involvement allows early identification of difficulties and enables a more accurate impact assessment. Additionally, patient involvement in internal and external communication during this phase is crucial. Patient involvement in research, conduct and operations can arise in the following areas. Patient representatives as members of trial, steering committee and investigators meetings. Patient representatives can ensure a timely patient perspective integration. For example, patient involvement can help anticipate trial recruitment challenges or opportunities, potentially highlight areas of concern to trigger protocol amendments and improve patient access to trials. Information to trial participants. Patient involvement at this stage can generate protocol amendments. When changes are made to protocols, patient involvement in communicating the changes and the reasons for them is highly valuable, especially if resulting from new safety information, where participants' concerns need to be aligned. Data and Safety Monitoring Committee In collaboration with data monitoring committees, patient contributions can help assess the impact of study results on real patients, facilitate assessments of side effects and identify underlying issues related to formulation and administration, adherence as well as study retention and dropouts. Study reporting. Dissemination of interim results at predetermined study milestones should be an important part of the communication strategy for clinical trials. Involving patients in this process can help communicate the results and their relevance to the wider patient's community and can encourage retention. Stage 4. Dissemination, Communication and Post-Approval Activity A role for patient involvement has also been identified in regulatory affairs, health technology assessment and post-study communication. Regulatory Affairs A role for patient involvement in regulatory affairs includes development and revision of European Public Assessment Report Summaries, an assessment produced for all medicines where marketing authorization is requested through the centralized procedure at the European Medicines Agency. Development of lay summaries of results. Development and revision of package leaflets. Development and revision of updated safety communications. Post-study communication strategies. Patient involvement should be incorporated into post-study communication strategies, for example, in the development of updates, feedback and thank you letters to participants in lay language. Information sharing can help future patient experience and outcomes. Patient involvement also contributes to the publication and dissemination of research results among the patient and professional communities. Health technology assessment. Patient involvement during the HTA process helps to identify whether the evaluation of patient priorities and patient relevant outcomes meet the needs and experience of patients as end users of the technology. 
patient involvement has a multifaceted impact on research. Thorough preparation, realistic expectations, and a systematic approach to learning from successes and failures will be critical to leveraging the potential of patient involvement. All involved parties, patient organizations and patients, clinicians and researchers, academia and pharmaceutical industry will need to be involved in the identification of strategic points for patient involvement and their implementation to maximize the benefit for all stakeholders. This roadmap also serves as a guide for structuring education and information. The value of training for patients about the R&D process has been proven by the UPATI Patient Expert Training Program with a growing number of graduates. UPATI fellows actively engaging with the different stakeholders as experts patients. The UPATI online toolbox on medicines R&D, now available in 14 languages, has been accessed by more than 6.5 million individuals since its launch, proving the demand for lay language information on medicines development. UPATI is committed to enhancing patient involvement in research through education.